Hello guys and welcome back for another video on this channel. So in this video we're going to talk about the most common keto mistakes and how you can avoid them. So if you're new to this channel then please make sure that you hit the subscribe button that is here so you don't miss any of the new videos that are coming out. So let's begin. So basically my whole purpose with this channel is that I want to make keto so simple and livable for you that you can do it in the long term and of course thereby I also get to study a lot about keto and experience a lot of new things and it keeps my interest up in keto so it's a bit selfish so you guys are helping me to help you to yeah you get the point so basically here's one thing that you can apply and avoid all the keto mistakes that the people make and make your life very simple on keto and that one secret is think this might be very very surprising but i promise you if you apply this datum you will make your life easier and more livable more enjoyable and you will get a lot more out of your keto diet so the point is that there is a lot of youtube channels and there's a lot of data out there about how the keto diet should be done and a lot of people are repeating what other people are saying and basically there's just very little thinking involved and then People basically don't look at their own experiences and their own like what happens to them if the datum is true to them or not and I'm going to give you examples so you see exactly what I mean. For example there is this datum going around that on keto it's very very easy to get constipated and I also had this idea that I had a problem with this. And then I watched a very interesting video that made me think. Basically it was a doctor who was talking about that he has a lot of patients that because they had uh, colon cancer and other problems, they have a bag in their butt, this sounds a bit gross, and that's how they have to poop and then they have to empty this bag. And when they have this, basically you see everything like you see what goes in and then you see what comes out and this doctor was basically explaining that meat products which you eat a lot of and basically that's most of your diet quite contrary to what is being said in documentaries and in life they basically they get absorbed really really well into your body and he pointed out the fact that when you look at poop this is a bit gross, but sorry. You never see half-chewed steak. You never see a fried chicken come out. But on the other hand, you do see corn and you do see vegetables and you do see other stuff, which also makes sense because veggies have a lot of fiber, which you cannot digest. So a lot of people are actually not constipated on keto, but they have this idea that they are because they're not seeing their regular bowel movement that they saw when they were on another diet. But actually, because they're eating less veggies and less other stuff, the food just gets absorbed a lot more, so there's a lot less coming out. But when you don't think, then you buy into this like, oh my god, I'm constipated on keto, so I have to do something about it, and then things go really, really wrong. Also, another great example of this is how much carbs you should eat and you should count your macros and you know, you should never have more than 20 net carbs. Basically, these numbers, I think, are completely arbitrary numbers that one guy one time dreamed up and said like, this should actually be like this. And then a lot of people started parroting this around and then basically, I have noticed on myself that I am four months onto the keto diet. Now, I'm not even going to sell you on that I'm this keto expert. I'm just a keto enthusiast and I've been studying and reading a lot about keto. So I have noticed that I've become so keto adapted that even if I eat a chocolate and then basically after a few hours, I go straight back to keto. It's an unbelievably forgiving diet. It's not in the beginning, but once you have very thoroughly adapted to keto, you really don't have to worry about carbs. So basically, I have to just give you some other examples because somehow there is this sheep effect and people buy into stuff without thinking that other people are, are saying. For example, in the US, since the 1970s, there has been, uh, maybe my dates are not fully correct, but basically, you have the Food and Drug Administration and there is like the Ministry of Health and basically there is more and more expert attention put on the people's health and the people are getting more obese and unhealthy than ever. And basically it just seems like whatever the experts are saying you need to do the opposite because the general health of the people was 
better off a hundred years ago or even 200 years ago than it is now not in every way obviously but definitely in the obesity and uh, and eating healthy so when you're on the keto diet just make sure you study a lot about it and you continue to think and you see if the datum that you hear is that true for you or is it not true for you and if somebody tells you that you need to cut out salt and then you feel like shit and then it says that it's going to make you healthy but you don't feel healthy then the fact is it doesn't work for you maybe it works for somebody else so then just eat salt or if somebody says that you shouldn't eat carbs at all because then you're going to break your keto and then your body is not going to ever going to be able to handle ketones ever again and you try it and you don't feel good and then you eat carbs and then you don't go out of ketosis and then you know that this datum is not true and i don't know if that's the same for everybody but it's definitely not true for you so basically keto is a lifestyle I don't think it should be called a diet it should be called a lifestyle and I'm definitely in it for the long term and I'm really trying to keep it as dogma free and as simple as possible for me so that I can keep it on the long term and that's also what I think you should do so you basically avoid all the keto mistakes there are and your life will be simple so thank you very much for watching this video we have a website with my wife which is going to have a lot of keto goodies so please make sure that you check it out and if you're new to this channel this is the first time that you're on this channel I would love to have you subscribe remember just hit this button enjoy the rest of your day thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video ciao ciao